Hi my friends, it's Cherry here. Today we're going to do an alcohol ink painting on a 8x8 artboard that's covered with resin. That gives us our surface that we can work on. Now what I did with this, this is an inexpensive 8x8 um, wooden board, artboard. And I painted it black with acrylic paint and I covered it with resin. So just a clear coat of resin. Now this has been hanging around for a little while. So I'm going to uh, spray it with some alcohol just to clean it. Make sure I have uh, nothing that will disturb my little painting. And I'm just going to use... Pinata's white alcohol ink. It's white mixative. And yeah, maybe I'm thinking I'll come in with a silver gel pen to draw my leaves. Or I haven't decided. Or I might come in with some Prismacolor alcohol ink markers, which I love. I love Prismacolor. They're uh top of the line. They're not Copics, not, ex not as expensive as Copics either, um, but they are one of the higher quality alcohol ink markers. Anyway, and I'm just going to use canned air so I don't have one of those pressure pumps. And uh, these, the canned air is easy to find. In fact, you can even find it at the dollar store. I've seen it at the dollar store before. So yeah, so my surface is clean now. I'm just going to be, now I'm going to tilt this this way because I want um, my flowers to be coming up from the corner. I did one similar to this about, well, quite, yeah, almost a year ago, I guess. And I did it in gold, white flowers and gold. And it turned out to be quite a popular video. Um, today I'm going to try it with silver white flowers and silver. So let's give it a shot. Now this is difficult for me because I can't, I'm not ambidist, M by whatever the word is, <laughs> where you can use both hands equally. Tell me in the comment section what that word is. I forget. I'm old. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the flower a little bit, not in the center, a little bit to the left because I'm going to bring my other flowers up at the top here. So let's just cross our fingers and hope for the best. Okay. Now what you want is a layer of translucent um, petals. And as you can see, you need to turn your work around when you're dealing with the canned air. I think I want another one in the middle. Okay. I could leave it at that, I think. I just get nervous that you have something you're happy with and then you keep going and then do something wrong. So <laughs> I'm trying to avoid that. I do want to have a little bit more in this in the middle here. So there we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to leave that. Life fool with perfection. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring a smaller one up at the top here. I checked my camera. Yep, we're okay. Another smaller one up at the top and going in this direction, I think. So I'll set myself up here. I 
and maybe one more one more shot here okay and then my last one I have to be aware of my camera the last one I think over here um, down a little bit from this one I think yeah and going more in this direction Now I may stop there. I'm feeling like I need to redo here, maybe a, just a drop. That will do. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm also a little short on canned air, so I don't want to run out. Okay, now I'm happy with that. I'm going to come in. Now I'm going to come in with the gel, the silver gel pen first. This is a Signo gel pen from Uniball. And I'm going to dry in my stems and leaves. And if I'm not happy with that, I think I can always go over that with the alcohol ink markers. And I think that's, I'm not sure which one's easier, the markers and then the gel pen or the gel pen and then the markers if I'm not happy with, you know, one or the other. And yeah, I think silver will look nice. So let's give that a shot. Or we could do the stems and then try with alcohol ink for the uh, flower, for the leaves. I'm thinking this gel pen will be the trick though. No, I like that. And I thought the silver would look, look nice over the black. And I still feel that way. So now my leaves. Now I'm trying to decide how thick I want to go here. I sort of like... I'm going to put in a, I don't know what this is called, but you know, the bud at, where the flower comes out from the bud. I'm going to leave this for now because I can't decide if I want to make that thicker or leave it, you know, rather delicate like that. So let's, uh, now I need to be careful that I don't want to smudge this. So let's come in and do our buds here. And a bud here. All right. Mm. 
it's a really smooth surface so you don't want to move too fast all right and our leaves Now, I like that, but I'm feeling like we have to do something around the edges here just to complete our little uh, work of art. And I'm not sure exactly what that's going to be. So I'm going to leave this for a moment. I want my ink from my gel pen to dry. I may bring this, make this a little bit stronger, I think. Okay, I'm going to finish strengthening my the outline of my leaves here and let this dry and then we'll come back and decide how we want to finish this off. Okay, I believe my pen work may be dry now and I decided just to bring some leaves in just to uh, fill out our little work of art here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give that a shot. I'm always so nervous when I'm doing something for the first time that when I like where I've gotten that I'm not going to ruin it, uh, you know, by adding more. So nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Okay, let's bring some leaves in here. Let's take a minute and decide if we want to uh, keep going. Maybe along here. I don't want to come directly facing this way. You know, this one coming this way and these coming that way. Um, because to me that's too, just too symmetrical. Um, and I don't want to throw off the composition so that the eye has to go this way to get to uh, take in the, the painting. So I'm going to uh, try to reach for a happy medium here. I'm going to have one leaf coming from the side and one leaf coming, which is sort of how I have it here, I guess. Uh, let's just go for it. Um, I'm wondering now, should I just do one leaf here? Or maybe three? These are big decisions, you know. <laughs> well, I like the one. 
I wonder if I should just leave it at one. I wish you could help me. <laughs> I wish you could answer me and I could see what you're saying. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave it at one and I am going to ask you for your input. I'm going to leave this as it is. I'm going to publish this video and would love to hear comments from you whether you think I should leave this at one or should I maybe add two more to make it three. I don't want to do, I don't think I want to do just two. I think it's going to either be just the one or three. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you uh, like the idea of using the gel pen. Uh, these look a lot more difficult than they are and I think they're lovely myself. So, and if you choose, you can always come in with um, the alcohol ink marker and, you know, it might be something we want to do. Add another bit of color here. Uh, okay. You tell me. Should I add... I'm thinking about the little bud there where the flower, the blossoms come out of the little bud. I'm wondering if I should add some color there. Something like, you know, the goldenrod or a mixture of a dark green and the goldenrod, maybe. Uh, or just leave it as the silver. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. And I look forward to your comments. Let me know what you think. And whoever is the majority is probably where I'm going to go with that. So, yeah, I hope uh, if you haven't subscribed that you'll do that today. And if you're already subscribed, make, make sure you press that uh, notification bell so you get notified each time I uh, upload a video. And uh, I hope you folks have a fabulous day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.